Good morning, everybody. This is uh, part two, the hearing on uh, California homeowners insurance market with the Little Hoover Commission, Thursday, April 25th, uh, 2024. Uh, I'm Pedro Nava. I'm chair of the Little Hoover Commission. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, today is the second in a series of hearings examining California's homeowners insurance market and exploring potential reforms that may be needed. Uh, our first hearing helped frame the current state of the home insurance market in California. Today, we'll further this conversation and begin to analyze the impact of climate change on the insurance market. Uh, we'll now move to, we have no other people in the room wishing to make public comments, so we'll move to people uh, wishing to make public comment online. Okay, next we're going to have Carl Seussman. You now have the ability to unmute yourself. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity to talk today. Thank you to the commissioners for, for having this forum. Uh, I'm in a 30-year insurance broker, uh, an insurance expert witness in state, federal, and criminal court, and as well as a, uh, I, I talk on the radio throughout California on the largest syndicated talk radio program about residential insurance for, for clients. So I'm, this is sort of my thing. And one thing that I'm finding is that there's one piece of this puzzle that everyone seems to be missing, and that's the education factor. And I have to just say this, and I mean it without any disrespect, Everyone keeps saying, I've heard it two or three times during this hearing, that Fair Plan does not cover contents. That's simply untrue. Personal property absolutely is covered with the California Fair Plan. It's a line item. It's even covered at replacement cost. So I don't know where that comes from, but it's just a matter of the information's inaccurate. So what I'm hoping for and what I'm here to sort of talk and hope that we can put in the report or to strongly suggest is that we focus on a way to try and educate consumers so they really understand what it is they're getting, what it is they're supposed to be getting, and how to get the best possible options available. We need to educate them on why their rates go up. We certainly need to be able to educate them on surplus lines, as it was discussed. We need to educate them on the, an agent versus a broker, specifically these days on how State Farm has agents. So when they're getting non-renewed, they're not allowed contractually to shop for another policy. We have to educate them on how to save money on hardening their home, even how to save money with defensive driving courses. Just in general, how insurance works, how claims can impact their policy, how the concept of no loss is better than a covered loss. I hear that all the time. Most people are more interested in getting their loss covered than preventing the loss altogether. And that's something that as a society, as a community, we really need to make a change for. And we can do that with education. We need to be able to educate people on where to go, where to get help, and where the resources are. And most importantly, that people need to be more proactive with their insurance products and what they do. Because with these new guidelines that are coming out, like them or hate them, it is going to put the onus a lot more on the clients to be able to do things to lower their premium. They will be able to have their next door neighbor paying significantly more or less money, depending on what they decide to do to affect those rates. So my hope is that we can somehow find a way. Uh, I heard someone mention something about a czar, and I think that's more about legislation and communication between departments. That's obviously critical. But if there could be someone some position, some central repository where people can get educated on these things. I think that now more than ever, because insurance is not the way it was. What's the, what's the expression? This is not your grandfather's insurance. I mean, things are really different. Things are going to be different going forward. And so educating the public more is more important now than it ever has been. And I use the, again, the example again just today with what we're talking about personal property on the, on the fair plan. So if, uh, if there's any questions, I'm happy to take them. Otherwise, that's my comment for today.